Hello and welcome. Right, it is our harvest. Yeah, we have two fields to harvest. So, because it's such a mammoth task, I am going to have to go straight into a time lapse. Not only are we leaving the uh, obviously the harvest harvesting, but we are going to try and pick up the the uh, straw as well. So yeah, this is going to be fun. Truthfully, uh, now then, remind myself: Did I have I fed the animals yet? Uh, gone a minute. First, we don't want any starting on the second rounds. Right, let's let's just make sure that's going to start. I hate that. Why does it always do that? I'm sure I started that on. Right, that, that's looking promising, truly is. Yeah, we're going to work, yeah, let's have a quick taz around first, tractors. We'll need a tractor. Right, that one's there. That one's there. And where is the main fence? I can, ah, I can see it, I can see its icon, and we are travelling slowly, so let's get spools in. Yeah, I'm chuffed about this. I do really do agree with what I said, although I personally think I put it in the wrong thing. I should have put it here, facing that away, because now I'm always going to have to come round and do this. You know, like, come this side. I think that was a mistake, but it is what it is. I suppose you could equally say then it's a mistake if I did it that way. Not really, because, yeah, if it was this island... It would be perfect. Let's just see. Can we do it now? It's like, yeah, uh, this is obviously me consulting the, with the builders, really. This is a, this was a bit of a dream. That's, oh, actually, we are losing. Do you know something? No. Let's leave it. it. It is what it is. Live and die with the decisions you make, truthfully. And we shall, uh, yeah, live with it. <laughs> we'll have to think a little bit better next time. Right, now then. Remind me, what was I? Ah, that is, yeah, we've got that. That's fantastic. Now let's just start the engine. I'm quite sure we're going to need this in a minute. I think, if I remember rightly, everybody's happy. We do need to buy some animal feed quickly, but I'm almost sure everybody's happy. Yeah, 16 tonnes. Uh, they're pub pubescent, so there's no milk. And they are producing a little bit of milk. It's, it's adding up and... Yeah, we remember with small scale, I've got to get out of thinking about big scale because that's just not... Now, the chickens are growing, actually, quite a lot. So we are, again, definitely going to need to buy some food for them at some point. Now, let me just quickly... Let's go and see... Now, am I going to need... I'm trying to think about this. What am I going to need you as... Loading wagon. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Let's not climb up on the... Uh, that, that's not a good idea. So that's for the milk back there. Let's drop that weight against that post ish. And let's drop that down. I mean, we do love this. It's a fantastic multi purpose and will really, really do us proud for lots of things. Let's put that down. No, I'm not wanting to refill. I want it to drop. And let's go back gently. And we are going to grab the forage. Yeah, I was trying to think. Six me. I think we will need to windrow as well. Yeah, it'll, it'll expand them slightly because otherwise they are. It's going to take a. Are we going to bail? We could actually. Yeah, why not? Let's bail. Now that is a point. I don't know if the new um, productions farm supplies production actually does do that. But let's grab the bailing. Let's grab this. I know as soon as they bump into a bale and we need to lower it otherwise it doesn't work so later on in the day we are going to be grabbing some uh, chicken food or it, oh God, get out. I always say this it's true it is so confusing in a way if I'm assuming that because it is really a day as in it's a single period of time but it really represents a month so you get you find as a human you get caught by saying a day quite frequently and I keep saying Oh, I must stop doing it. But then in another way, obviously, it is it is just being human. Yeah, we do need also, yeah, we're going to make bread, definitely. And also, the, this has a dairy function as well, which is why I really did want it. So, yeah, let's change our mind. You know what? I'm going to make one bale first, and I'm going to drop it at that to see if it really does work with bales. The old one did. I can't see it not. It is an Omatana, and... Over time, he usually does things fantastically, so we'll try. Now, I've got to keep that eye on. Oh, no, I 
establish them all right right let's get cracking so i'm going to say my words yeah we know the plan i'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side
Right, I, I wasn't ever um, ever trying to finish the bales. Boy, they were, yeah, that's, <laughs> that was fun and game. I actually did quite enjoy that. It was not having anything. I thought, let's spin it around, let's see if we can get it in. But I'm surprised at this one falling because it did actually have the strap on at one point. It didn't at one point, and then I put, oh, did I? Yeah, you get confused sometimes. I, usually when I look back in editing, I look and think, no, it was your fault. Yeah, so we've yeah we've done well. What I would like to do though, one thing I'd like to do, I'm obviously leaving the baling. I thought I'd just crack on with the baling and do as much baling as possible. Whilst this was going, and I can see that our baler has here. I'm going to keep this going while we can. We're just going to push that out of the way and let him crack on. Is that or her? No, him actually it is. Yeah, we'll crack on, and yeah, I think we may may be able to finish this off whilst we go and take the grain back. That's that's the plan. Right, let's make sure there's nothing at this end that's going to get in the way because other than the harvester of course. Yeah we'll take this lot back. Yeah I'd finally, I don't know what happened to the little um, we'd had a trailer. I, I would presume it hit a car. I like the second time when the car walloped. Yeah they are uh, menaces. And then I then it literally I don't know how far away you're supposed to be. I even lifted the the tines on that as high as you can possibly go and it still didn't want to shift so I, I must admit I did get a bit angry and I sort of like yeah I'd scuffed it but I thought you know it really I've got to be honest it's so unrealistic it really I mean don't get me wrong I know there are stubborn drivers where they do really do silly things and if if, if to trying to simulate that every driver's an absolute yeah careful language <laughs> every single driver is an absolute numpty then they're doing a very good job because they're absolutely like a, a slow Sunday driver that just saunter along and absolutely do the most menacing thing every single time and it is it's silly it is they stop when you go past them uh, and then they don't stop when they should and it, it's it I feel like switching traffic off only as I've always said I find it very realistic in a way, but the the behaviour of the traffic I find far le far than less to be realistic, really, really unrealistic, and an absolute pain. Truthfully, yeah, we've done well though. Uh, yeah, I mean, apart from my bale, <laughs> bale stacking, oh dear, yeah, it's. Uh, but I thought, you can't always wait until you're at your best. I thought, you know, I'm just going to do it anyway. I don't care if I'm not on my best, I'm not on my best. Just crack on. Yeah, I always find Saturday, it's, um, you'd think it'd be the best, but I always find if you've had a tough week at work and we work long hours and we've got like a head office route sort of um, shift at the minute at our company, so it's all hands to the pump. So you get, get home on a Friday, you, you sleep through, you wake up on the Saturday and you're still shattered. It's, it's usually Sunday by the time you're feeling a little bit more normal and then it all starts all over again on the Monday <laughs> so of course there's nothing new for that for anybody it's the same for almost everybody truthfully yeah people um, do want their pound of flesh definitely which yeah we're paying your time so I, I, I've always been a grafter always taught to uh, give 100% even if companies give you less than 100% not saying that my present company gives me less than 100%, it's definitely not. But yeah, yeah, it has been a very productive session. I'd just like to see how well we did do from the two fields, truthfully. Oh, oh, no, I, yeah, that's. Yeah, I lost it there, I've got to be honest, that wasn't like me not knowing how to steer. I'm getting a little bit better at this, he says. It's not losing it, I just literally lost it. This, The gamepad I've got is not quite as sensitive as my best. Um, yeah, especially for this, I've noticed bale work. My other one what is definitely much better. Same brand, but I think this is like a different series and it's really not as good as the uh, my best one. So I'm not sure whether to swap them over. It, it does, yeah, it does pay to have your best, especially for this type of thing. You can get away with a lot of things without it, but... As well. So, 29 tons. That's not bad from one field. I, I did know this was the bigger of the two. 
So yeah, let's leave that trundling. We'll take this back and we'll have a t look at what we've got and then I'm going to leave it. The bale-in including, I'm going to get those hay bales from the very first bit of baling we did do. I can't believe how quickly I've done that actually. I suppose that's with tackling it. No, I'm not, I was going <laughs> to grab them all then. But do you know, I think we'll, uh, we'll yeah, be realistic. Uh, this is 30 tonnes. It's a 150 horsepower tractor. I think we're pushing it if we try to drag another 75 tonnes of bales as well. You can see it, it really is struggling somewhat. Yeah, I, I don't somehow think it'd get up this bit of a hill. I've got to be honest, St Cali is quite nice and realistic. It's it's not flat. I like it. It's got some really nice undulations. Yeah, not doesn't stop the equipment doing its job. Well, I, I'm not seeing anything so far, so it's... It's nice, nicely sculpted, nicely realistic. The fields have been worked and they're all nice. But yeah, it really is what I class as realistic. It's not flat. And don't get me wrong, I know there are some places that are totally flat. Some American maps have got very flat sort of a, a basin, sort of, no, not the basin, sort of a curvature. Yeah, very flat sort of areas like a valley or that's been worked and so it's really nice uh, and flat so yeah I like things like Elm Creek where there is well I won't say as flat as a pancake but yeah you know where there are very few undulations now then this is our real let's go up here and avoid any future traffic yeah I really I was sort of very, it, the header was there but it wasn't you could see it but I think it had fallen into the ground hence my reset so I do apologize I couldn't see it. I, literally, I was going exactly where it was on the map, but there was nothing. I mean, I know there were trees there, but I couldn't see it at all where the it was on the map. So I thought, I've got no choice. That's when an, uh, a reset really is necessary. Those type of situations where you've got no choice. Yeah, absolutely. I think we did well out of the bales, though. I mean, that, I'm going for three high on those, and I should get to for six, twelve, twenty-four bales on that. So for saying we're a small farm, let's not forget that. Right, right. Let's go to the that one. We're going to stick this in, and we are going to make some breads. Yeah, definitely. I may upgrade this so that we've got a, a super duper factory. Uh, definitely buy the latest equipment and have it all upgraded we may do that for now it'll trundle along nicely or do we upgrade it now so that it actually really yes the only thing about this I've got a drive sort of well very difficult not to uh... no, no. oh no it's back oh no no it is that one it is that one I'm not quite obviously no I'm not I'm not quite let's drop the back one. Oh, okay actually do it on that one. Well, I can as well. Let's see if we can get the other one with a little bit of... Yeah, when that's gone. Let's see if we can try to think, how can I do that? It's a horrible the double. I, I, it's going to look a right mess. But all I need is really just to try and get that a little bit closer. Let's try and pull forward a little. Should really get that, really. Ah, that's because it's on back. And I've switched my indicator on, which somehow I did with my gamepad. Never figure that one out. Right, let's have a look at what we've got in here. Oh, that is true. Obviously, it would have started producing. Oh, wow. Gordon Bennett, it's racing on the flower. I always did say these were I used to use them on rhombos to do flour. They really are an excellent meal, making the bread baking production not quite so good as we can see. So 41 tons, you know, we had 12 tons and we just had 30. So yeah, 40, 43 odd tons in truth off those two fields. So that should bring in quite a lot of, I think we will. Let's, let's upgrade it. Got, I'll tell you why, because I'm not sure how long we are going to be on this, so we have to come out and go back in. Yes, and note the number three on my all-in-one production now, so that's grade three. So that now does 
165 times 45 bread and flour. Remember, we're looking at oats. Oats flour is. Oh no, we want, yeah, we want to look at the that. 412 times 108. That is a lot of flour. So that is capable of absolutely whizzing through flour, and not not quite so quick on the bread, but still good. 165 times 40, 100 times 45 would be 45,000, wouldn't it? 45, add another two zeros. No, 4,000. No, yeah, 4,500. 4, Is that right? I can't be right. Yeah, no, it is. 4,500. And then obviously it's 65 as well, so it's quite a lot. <laughs> Mathematics, especially on a Saturday, is not my strong suit. No, I could get a calculator, but it's it's good. That's all I'm going to say. Um, the straw, obviously the hay and that, I'm going to put in there to go loose. I did try, I think it is. Yeah, I do think it did sort of say, and this looks like there's a bit of a straw patch, so I think it's one of those that's a bit loose. Uh, or, oh no, it's the milk. Ah, so I've put it in the wrong place. Aha. So, ah, here we go. That picture there might be where we put it. And it does show bales, so fantastic. So we can put some bales in. So we won't be sticking all of the... Let's go and see if we've got that one over there. I would imagine so. If one's got bales, I'm quite sure that it's been picked, so you can have two. So, where would the bales go? Here. Oh, wow. That's not amazing. Brilliant, fantastic. Not sure where the bales will go, whether everything. Let's have a look. Let's switch interactive zone markers on for a minute. It's hard to say, isn't it? If there were two, then I would say it was the second one. If not, then I would say it must be everything all in one. Yeah, it looks to me like. Oh, hang on a minute. Aha, here, I would say. Smashing. Okay. Yeah, no real. Can I leave myself a blob? No, I'm happy with that. I think I'll remember. I think I remember that that's where it goes. Yeah, so we're going to drop some strawing. So obviously I want the manure. I want to start to be using the fertiliser that we're naturally producing. The slurry and the... Yeah. And also... No, no. Lime. Well, yeah, we'll buy our lime. It's reasonable. It's not bad. So we're down to 29,000. But we will. we are starting now to produce from our farm. Yeah, obviously we've still got what I class as seed money seed money really so yeah I'm happy with that yeah I, I really did get snarled up badly on that so I thought you know you you can't do it I was like where the back of it kept bumping and I thought no matter what you do really you're gonna get keep clocking I thought you've got to push it out of the way so I did use the chafer which did a very good job it definitely punched above its weight for that obviously this is going to be surplus to requirements if we are now going to be mixing in and obviously yeah we've got an upgraded farm with all mod cons so we have got this little beast yeah and we'll have a quick look at that before we scoot off because yeah this is new to me I, I did look at it briefly on riverside the other day but yeah we're going to make total mixed ration the the way that i like it not that way <laughs> no no mineral feeds that way there yeah absolutely oh, wow it's actually a slightly better mix than normal so yeah we're going to mix like that so i'll be tip tipping plenty of silage obviously we'll grab the loose silage out now yeah we've got a bucket but is that way how we're going to do it is that the best we can do? i think it is really yeah it's old school definitely yes i mean obviously when that's all gone as well that's the other reason i thought we, we sort of it is the time of productions but it this is i thought it was in keeping with this so i thought if we go old school, well, yeah, this has been done many, many... Not not that it's, like, ever wrong. Ooh, fantastic. So how much did we have in there? Yeah, 132. A bit more than I thought, actually. So that's fantastic. Yeah, so we'll get this out. Not sure... We could buy... Ah, that is a point. Ah, yeah, let me just... Something I put in earlier. I think I ticked it. I think I ticked everything. So, no, we want to look in this. I've never tried this. It's a little one, but... Yeah... It's reasonable. In keeping with the farm, I would like to sort of keep this. I've also got a new mod in that. I don't know how long it's been out there. To do with belt systems, to make them quicker, because we all know they do drive you crazy. And to be honest, yeah, your time is precious just as much as mine is. So that would be the normal one I'd go for. So I could go for that. 
but there was this new pack which I'm hoping I've ticked. Oh, there is the screw conveyor. I mean, obviously, I've got the vintage auger pack, which is even cheaper, and it's yeah, but I think that actually picks up from the ground. I think I couldn't swear to it. Yeah, we, if not, we'll do the same as we always do, and that we would get that one there. So I'd like to try it, not because it's cheapest, because, yeah, the Vintage Auger Pack definitely beats that. It is fantastic, and I've used it. I mean, don't get me wrong, if this doesn't need it, it'll be a bit of an advantage if it doesn't need... Sorry, that was Alexa piping up. Yeah, so I'm, I'm hope we'll try it. I say we'll, we will go to the shop and grab that. In fact, let's, let's have a quick... Design. Oh, you can change the design. No, I'm happy with small. Small is, yeah, in keeping with the farm. So we're going to do that and load into our trailers, I think. And obviously with that new mod, that should make things a little bit quicker. Because it is, it is. I mean, I remember adding them. We did, oh, what was it, how many million tons of? And that took, on game time, even trying to just speed it up at the speed. I think it was well over a month which is a lot of time really so yeah so got a lot of work next time we've done our harvest we are gonna yeah i'm gonna crack on with the grabbing all of the bears all of the bears including those up there we're gonna grab them all and we're gonna stick them in there we're gonna get the open silage which we're gonna like juggle a little bit we're gonna be working on filling the those two with this with that in fact you know I'll do that off camera. We're going to have that not delivered, but I'm going to go and fetch it because I'd like that to be ready. So I'm going to do that one last thing before next session. So let's buy it. Yeah, let, let's do that because I'd like you to see the colour and everything that I'm going to go for. Yeah, because if it, it did look like you could change the colour, that is grand. I'm hoping this is good. Obviously, first time I've ever, ever had this. So, configuration, charge. Ooh. Now, I would say that means ground pickup. I would say. So, we'll try it. Should we, should we try it normal and then we'll adapt it? Yeah, we will. Let's try that. So, the yellow is just the top. Let's go for red. Oh, where are, oh, oh. And design colour. Design colour. A bit more red. Oh, messy red. Oh, yeah, I like that. Rim colour. Of course, we could have done this the cheap way, but it's not always nice to do. Oh, chrome. Absolutely, yes. Right, fantastic. I quite like that. 6,250. Absolutely amazing. Oh, have I. Oh, I have. Oh. I have. Oh, where were you delivered? No. Okay, let's show it on the map. Let's see where, where I've had that delivered. <sighs> Show on map. And let's look on the big map. Because it should be sort of showing. Oh, okay. Oh, it'll be where I reset the thing, of course it would. Yes, yeah, well, it's not far away. I'll go grab that now. Right, so I'm going to say my customary goodbyes. Yeah, well, we should try that next time. Uh, and if we have to change it, the charging hopper, we will do. But yeah, I'd like, I might have a slight go off camera now. So if I've adapted it, you know my money will be down another 2,000. But yeah, so I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. As always, I invite my, my fellow shareholders of this farm to uh, give me comments even to tell me off of the running of the farm and to pull my socks up and do something different or give me ideas or yeah anything mods that you found that fantastic always love to show what you guys and girls have found fantastic mods and things like that and i still do know i've got to do my ph and nitrogen as well but yeah and it will it'll be bought until we've got a bit more manure and slurry from this so yeah for the time being it will be um, that anyway yes I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.